brown. Brown is a composite color. In the CMYK color model used in printing or painting, brown is made by combining red, black, and yellow, or red, yellow, and blue. In the RGB color model used to project colors onto television screens and computer monitors, brown is made by combining red and green, in specific proportions. The brown color is seen widely in nature, in wood, soil, human hair color, eye color and skin pigmentation. Brown is the color of dark wood or rich soil. According to public opinion surveys in Europe and the United States, brown is the least favorite color of the public, the color is most often associated with plainness, the rustic and poverty. The term is from Old English brun, in origin for any dusky or dark shade of color. The first recorded use of brown as a color name in English was in 1000. The common Germanic adjective brunos, bruna meant both dark colors and a glistening or shining quality, when spurnish. The current meaning developed in Middle English from the 14th century. Words for the color brown around the world often come from foods or beverages. In the Eastern Mediterranean, the word for brown often comes from the color of coffee. In Turkish, the word for brown is kave rengi, in Greek, cafe, in Macedonian, kafeev. In Southeast Asia, the color name often comes from chocolate, coklet in Malay, tsokolate in Filipino. In Japan, the word chero means the color of tea. Brown has been used in art since prehistoric times. Paintings using umber, a natural clay pigment composed of iron oxide and manganese oxide, have been dated to 40,000 BC. Paintings of brown horses and other animals have been found on the walls of the Lascaux cave dating back about 17,300 years. The female figures in ancient Egyptian tomb paintings have brown skin, painted with umber. Light tan was often used on painted Greek amphorae and vases, either as a background for black figures, or the reverse. The ancient Greeks and Romans produced a fine reddish brown ink, of a color called sepia, made from the ink of a variety of cuttlefish. This ink was used by Leonardo da Vinci. Raphael and other artists during the Renaissance, and by artists up until the present time. In ancient Rome, brown clothing was associated with the lower classes or barbarians. The term for the plebeians, or urban poor, was palati, which meant literally those dressed in brown. In the Middle Ages brown robes were worn by monks of the Franciscan order, as a sign of their humility and poverty. Each social class was expected to wear a color suitable to their station and gray and brown were the colors of the poor. Russet was a coarse homespun cloth made of wool and dyed with woad and matter to give it a subdued gray or brown shade. By the statute of 1363, poor English people were required to wear russet. The medieval poem Piers Plowman describes the virtuous Christian. In the Middle Ages dark brown pigments were rarely used in art. Painters and book illuminators artists of that period preferred bright, distinct colors such as red, blue and green, rather than dark colors. The umbers were not widely used in Europe before the end of the 15th century. The Renaissance painter and writer Giorgio Vasari (1511–1574) described them as being rather new in his time. Artists began using far greater use of browns when oil painting arrived in the late 15th century. During the Renaissance, artists generally used four different browns: raw umber, the dark brown clay mine from the earth around Umbria in Italy, raw sienna a reddish-brown earth mine near Siena, in Tuscany, burnt umber, the Umbrian clay heated until it turned a darker shade, and burnt Siena, heated until it turned a dark reddish-brown. In Northern Europe, Jan van Eyck featured rich earth browns in his portraits to set off the brighter colors. The 17th and 18th century saw the greatest use of brown. Caravaggio and Rembrandt van Rijn used browns to create chiaroscuro effects, where the subject appeared out of the darkness. Rembrandt also added umber to the ground layers of his paintings because it promoted faster drying. Rembrandt also began to use new brown pigment, called castle earth or cologne earth. This was a natural earth color composed of over 90% organic matter, such as soil and peat. It was used by Rubens and Anthony van Dyck, and later became commonly known as van Dyck brown. Brown was generally hated by the French Impressionists, who preferred bright, pure colors. The exception among French 19th century artists was Paul Gauguin, who created luminous brown portraits of the people and landscapes of French Polynesia. In the late 20th century, brown became a common symbol in Western culture for simple, inexpensive, natural and healthy. Bag lunches were carried in plain brown paper bags, packages were wrapped in plain brown paper. Brown bread and brown sugar were viewed as more natural and healthy than white bread and white sugar.
Brown is a composite color, made by combining red, yellow and black. It can be thought of as dark orange, but it can also be made in other ways. In the RGB color model, which uses red, green and blue light in various combinations to make all the colors on computer and television screens, it is made by mixing red and green light. In terms of the visible spectrum, brown refers to high wavelength, low frequency, hues, yellow, orange, or red, in combination with low luminance or saturation. Since brown may cover a wide range of the visible spectrum, composite adjectives are used such as red brown, yellowish brown, dark brown or light brown. As a color of low intensity, brown is a tertiary color. A mix of the three subtractive primary colors is brown if the cyan content is low. Brown exists as a color perception only in the presence of a brighter color contrast. Yellow, orange, red, or rose objects are still perceived as such if the general illumination level is low, despite reflecting the same amount of red or orange light as a brown object would in normal lighting conditions. In humans, brown eyes result from a relatively high concentration of melanin in the stroma of the iris, which causes light of both shorter and longer wavelengths to be absorbed and in many parts of the world, it is nearly the only iris color present. Dark pigment of brown eyes is most common in East Asia, Southeast Asia, South Asia, West Asia, Oceania, Africa, Americas, etc. as well as parts of Eastern Europe and Southern Europe. The majority of people in the world overall have dark brown eyes. Light or medium pigmented brown eyes are common in Europe, Afghanistan, Pakistan, and northern India, as well as some parts of the Middle East. See eye color. Brown is the second most common color of human hair, after black. It is caused by higher levels of the natural dark pigment eumelanin, and lower levels of the pale pigment pheomelanin. Brown eumelanin is more common among Europeans, while black eumelanin is more often found in the hair on non-Europeans. A small amount of black eumelanin, in the absence of other pigments, results in gray hair. A small amount of brown eumelanin in the absence of other pigments results in blonde hair. In Western popular culture, a common stereotype is that brunettes are stable, serious, smart and sophisticated. A British study into hair color in the intensity of attraction found that 62% of the men participating in the study associated brown-haired women with stability and competence. Brunettes were described as independent and self-sufficient by 67% of the men, and as intelligent by 81%. A majority of people in the world have skin that is a shade of brown, from a very light honey brown or a golden brown, to a copper or bronze color, to a coffee color or a dark chocolate brown. Skin color and race are not the same, many people classified as white or black actually have skin that is a shade of brown. Brown skin is caused by melanin, a natural pigment which is produced within the skin in cells called melanocyte. Skin pigmentation in humans evolved to primarily regulate the amount of ultraviolet radiation penetrating the skin, controlling its biochemical effects. Natural skin color can darken as a result of tanning due to exposure to sunlight. The leading theory is that skin color adapts to intense sunlight irradiation to provide partial protection against the ultraviolet fraction that produces damage and thus mutations in the DNA of the skin cells. There is a correlation between the geographic distribution of ultraviolet radiation, UVR, and the distribution of indigenous skin pigmentation around the world. Darker skin populations are found in the regions with the most ultraviolet, closer to the equator, while lighter skin populations live closer to the poles, with less UVR though immigration has changed these patterns. While white and black are commonly used to describe racial groups, brown is rarely used, because it crosses all racial lines. In Brazil, the Portuguese word pardo, which can mean different shades of brown, is used to refer to multiracial people. The Brazilian Institute of Geography and Statistics, IBGE, asks people to identify themselves as branco, white, pardo, brown, negro, black, or amarelo, yellow. In 2008 43.8% of the population identified themselves as pardo. See human skin color The thin top layer of the Earth's crust on land is largely made up of soil color different shades of brown. Good soil is composed of about 45% minerals, 25% water, 25% air, and 5% organic material, living and dead. Half the color of soil comes from minerals it contains, soils containing iron turn yellowish or reddish as the iron oxidizes. Manganese, nitrogen and sulfur turn brownish or blackish as they decay naturally. Rich in fertile soils tend to be darker in color, 
The deeper brown color of fertile soil comes from the decomposing of the organic matter. Dead leaves and roots become black or brown as they decay. Poorer soils are usually paler brown in color, and contain less water or organic matter. A large number of mammals and predatory birds have a brown coloration. This sometimes changes seasonally, and sometimes remains the same year round. This color is likely related to camouflage, since the backdrop of some environments, such as the forest floor, is often brown and especially in the spring and summertime when animals like the snowshoe hare get brown fur. Surveys in Europe and the United States showed that brown was the least popular color among respondents. It was the favorite color of only 1% of respondents, ranked below white and pink, and the least favorite color of 20% of people, even less popular than pink, gray and violet. Brown has been a popular color for military uniforms since the late 18th century, largely because of its wide availability and low visibility. When the Continental Army was established in 1775 at the outbreak of the American Revolution, the First Continental Congress declared that the official uniform color would be brown, but this was not popular with many militias, whose officers were already wearing blue. In 1778, the Congress asked George Washington to design a new uniform. And in 1779 Washington made the official color of all uniforms blue and buff. In 1846 the Indian soldiers of the Corps of Guides in British India began to wear a yellowish shade of tan, which became known as khaki from the Urdu word for dust-colored, taken from an earlier Persian word for soil. The color made an excellent natural camouflage, and was adopted by the British Army for their Abyssinian campaign in 1867 to 1868, and later in the Boer War. It was adopted by the United States Army during the Spanish-American War, 1896, and afterwards by the United States Navy and United States Marine Corps. In the 1920s, brown became the uniform color of the Nazi Party in Germany. The Nazi paramilitary organization the Sturm und Lung, S.A., wore brown uniforms and were known as the brown shirts. The color brown was used to represent the Nazi vote on maps of electoral districts in Germany. If someone voted for the Nazis, they were said to be voting brown. The national headquarters of the Nazi party, in Munich, was called the Brown House. The Nazi seizure of power in 1933 was called the Brown Revolution. At Adolf Hitler's Oberzaltsberg home, the Berghof, he slept in a bed which was usually covered by a brown quilt embroidered with a huge swastika. The swastika also appeared on Hitler's brown satin pajamas, embroidered in black against a red background on the pocket. He had a matching brown silk robe. Brown had originally been chosen as a party color largely for convenience. Large numbers of were surplus brown uniforms from Germany's former colonial forces in Africa were cheaply available in the 1920s. It also suited the working class and military images that the party wished to convey. Through the 1930s, the party's brown uniforms were mass-produced by the German clothing firm owned by Hugo Boss, 1885-1948. Boss became a member of the Nazi party in 1931, and was licensed supplier for the SA, the SS, and the Hitler Youth. After World War II he was stripped of his right to vote in his presidency of the company, but the company continued in business and still carries his name. The color brown is said to represent ruggedness when used in advertising is the color of the United Parcel Service, UPS, delivery company with their trademark brown trucks and uniforms, it was earlier the color of Pullman rail cars of the Pullman Company, and was adopted by UPS both because brown is easy to keep clean, and due to favorable associations of luxury that Pullman brown evoked. UPS has filed two trademarks on the color brown to prevent other shipping companies, and possibly other companies in general, from using the color if it creates market confusion. In its advertising, UPS refers to itself as brown. What can brown do for you? Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.